channel. So again, I know it's been such a long time since I have done a makeup video, but here we are finally. Um, yeah, so I, I am at the moment focusing a lot of my energy on my um, Crystal Reiki healing business and selling of my beautiful stones to everybody. Um, and I'm working on a website, so that's just taking all of my time. But I have a new box that has arrived from MG Naturals, so I so I thought let's try some of the new products. Um, they have a new foundation, so I'll show you. Um, and I'm going to recreate the look I did for my photo shoot. So I will um, include all the photos in this editing in this video. Um, beautiful photo shoot I did for my business. Um, you'll see my crown once I'm done. Um, and yes, yeah, so I thought I'd recreate it and I'll try the new foundation all at the same time. So this is the new packaging. Um, all of her shipping packaging as well um, is all sustainable now. She uses hemp. So this I've already opened this, um, hence why I don't have all of the packaging still inside. Um, she's using yeah, hemp packaging as well and recycled material. So all of the sustainable and biodegradable. So this is their new foundation. So they've just altered the formula slightly. So all of their certifications on here. So still titanium dioxide free, which is really good for our skin health. So, ooh. so I have not tried this yet. This is the first time I'll be trying it. Um, I chose medium glow. So actually I have no tanning on. So this might look a little bit dark on the face because I normally put my tan on. Um, but I'm going to be covered up because it's quite chilly now where I'm living. Going for a more sustainable packaging approach as well, so this being able to be recycled. So protection, so that's kind of proof I've not used it yet. So that comes off. Oh, and there it is. So I can already tell it's thicker. Still has its gorgeous smell. Oh, so I'll be using that shortly. And you get this beautiful little bag. Put your goodies in. I have a little bit too many, but I actually might store my, all my eyeshadows in here um, to then in my kit, so that might make that a little bit easier for me. This is something that I can't wait to try as well. Their little, their own version of a beauty blender makeup sponge. So I'll dampen this to use shortly. And then I needed a new mascara, so I got myself a new mascara. Um, so I was lucky enough to receive these products. Now, you guys know I've been working with MG Naturals for a while now. Everything I say is all my own, so it's not sponsored as such. Like, they haven't made or requested me to do these videos. I choose to do them for them because I do just love their products. Um, and a way of helping each other out is they can use some of my photos for swapping of services, I guess. So it's a really nice community um, helping each other out, and I get to help show how to use their amazing stuff clean natural vegan and yes it's perfect all right so enough talking and i'll get get into the try so i'm just stamping their foundation brush and i let that sit aside so i am going to start off with my eyes first because i am doing quite a heavy eye look so i'll do my brows and i'll do that off camera and link down my brow routine it's still the same even though it's years old i haven't changed it um, and then I will go close with the eyes. I'm taking um, Luminous Light Concealer to create a nice smooth base. And I find that the eyeshadows um, like the oils in this as well. So the colour actually pops. I'm just using my concealer brush. going to set that as well in place with the mineral powder foundation just a very thin amount just to help it not be too sticky and for the powder eyeshadows to work a little bit nicer so a big fluffy brush is going to be our transition crease shade I'm taking spiced I've had to close all the windows so I've got an LED light so this isn't quite the natural lighting as I normally do but um, it's really windy and really cold and the camera was having hissy fit with the light behind me so we're just gonna make do as normal i put the powder in the lid and i work the product in the lid tap any excess off in in the lid and that's how i work with the loose powder 
So this is a fairly, yeah, easy smoky eye. You can do this with any color choice. And how I find my crease, I open my eyes. You can see the natural crease there and I plonk it in the middle. So I'm doing an all over lid and then we're just gonna start middle, back, all the way, sort of three quarters in, leaving that real inner corner free. And I'm doing windscreen and circular motions just to blend this product in the crease, creating nice definition, following my natural shape, so nothing too crazy. Basically a crease and a lid shade and then your highlighter on that top lid. Then I'm just going to change the colour on the bottom. So it's a really fairly easy um, eye look to create and it creates a nice beautiful smoky effect. Let's hit the crease and then with my fluffy brush I'm going to smooth out the edges. Now with a flat brush I'm taking the shade Espresso. It's a nice dark deep brown shade. And I'm just taking that on a flat brush and just patting it all over the eyelid. I'm ever so slightly taking up a little tiny bit higher than my crease because I put it eye. So when I open, so you can just see the crease shade and not so much it on the lid. So all over the base, connecting that with that transition shade. Now taking a little bit of spice just to, just to blend the colors together. Blending and making sure there's no harsh line. This is the colour champagne and we're popping this on the highest point of the arch there to highlight. Together I'm taking that clean brush just to soften it out. And taking MG Naturals mascara. So all products I'm using today are MG Naturals. I'm just going to do one thin layer of mascara. And then I'm going to do a second coat later, once we do our bottoms as well. We're going to dust off any fuller. Now I've prepped my skin already, so I've cleansed, turned, moisturized, and popped BB cream on. I'm just going to take this little lid off, and I'm going to wipe any of the product into... So I have, dam I have dampened the sponge as well, and we're going to use this flat side to dab the product in. So one thing I will suggest to them is possibly adding a little spatula stick into it so you're not putting your finger in. Um, but I have washed my hands and I'm going to use the back of my nail finger to take it out. So I have washed. I'm only going to put a little bit of product and I always work on the back of my hand. So I don't feel like you'll need much of this. But I would, yeah, it'd be nice to include a little, a little spatula stick. I think that would be my only feedback so far. So I'm going to warm the product in the back of my hand and I'm going to dot, going to dot the product around, focusing a little bit more on the lower bottom because that is where my most blemished area is and when I want more coverage and my nose. Um, I didn't use all of it because it's nice to always start light and then add more. And we're just going to so how you use a sponge is you dabbing it into your skin and then I'm doing ever so slightly dabbing and a little bit of a wiping as well and that's just to spread out the product. So this will give you more coverage I'm using the sponge. I want to call it the Beauty Blender but that's its own brand. So this isn't a Beauty Blender, this is MG Naturals own sponge. That still smells beautiful. It's just a slightly thicker formula, is what it feels like. I don't think they've altered too much to it, to be honest. New and improved. And I definitely just think they've added just a bit more coverage and it's a little tiny bit thicker. I 
always blending down your neck so I'm definitely doing more swiping motions to blend it down my neck and ears I'm just gonna take my little mirror just to have a bit more of a closer look so I didn't put much product under here because we will conceal that later but we are just creating a base Yeah, so it's still a nice sort of medium cover. We'll get a bit more fuller cover with the powder as well and a little bit of concealer. I'm just going to add a little bit more product down here. Just with the remaining amount on the back of my hand. This is a really, it's a little tiny bit dark for me at the minute because I don't have my tan on, but this will be perfect when I have the tan on. So I'm dabbing this more in for more coverage. And this is why it's really important to use a uh, primer. Definitely liking the coverage. I like the colour as well. So I'm only going to add a little bit of concealer to my dark eye bags. Just that mostly that inner corner to brighten that up. And that's all I'm going to conceal. I'm going to take my take my flat brush to conceal that. This just helps. Just with my finger, smooth out any edges. A bit more brighter. Now we're going to contour with honey. So sculpting out to give us some more structure. So the hollow points of the cheeks leading up to the ear. A little bit on the forehead. We're going for a more sun-kissed sort of look rather than exactly um, hardcore harsh contouring. So I'll be going over with bronzer as well. Because we were on the beach and I was trying to be all queen and goddessy like. A little bit just on the flat, flat on my chin just to soften that the round edging. Now I use two brushes, so one for the powder and one for the um, cream product. This is from Real Techniques, I've had these brushes for about a thousand years. So one's powder and one is um, contour. They both just work really lovely with powder and cream. So always starting like, and then working upwards where the darkest point is, because we're not dragging this product down, we're just keeping it in that hollow of the cheek there. Working down upwards. So you see how that kind of lifts that up? You know, it is a lot of layering, but uh, layering just really does turn up on photos for photo shoots because I did do this look for a photo shoot. So I have gone a little bit heavy, have gone a little bit heavy because I am doing a photo shoot, but I also wanted to show that you can do glam with natural products. And I don't know if you notice, like different people have different techniques. Like I'm quite a messy makeup artist. I'm not really hardcore neat. And I'm never too, too precise, but as long as your blending is good. My favourite product. Highest point of the cheek where that light hits. Your nose and... Forehead again. I am going quite heavy because this was for a photo shoot, and this is how I did it as well. Look at that! Oh, I love the highlighter. But yeah, no, that blends really lovely. Oh, I haven't used a sponge in so long. It's funny. This these were like a really massive craze, um, and I kind of used it and then got over it, but um. Yeah, this is reminding me how much I really do, <laughs> how much I did enjoy using a sponge. Sponges are just a bit more fuller coverage than brushes, I find. Um, obviously, your fingers and hands are going to be its fullest coverage. Um, 
And don't worry, I know this is really like crazy, but again, it was for a photo shoot and I will dull it down with some powder as well. So now with a big brush, we're going to settle that in with the powder. So again, I, uh, any powder, I always work into the lid. Always starting light and then adding more. And we'll set all this into place. So this will just help soften as well um, any harshness of everything. But then we're going to go back over and sculpt it out with powder anyway. Again, layering, especially for photo shoots, just help it look a bit more seamless, adding more definition. Now, as an everyday makeup, like I wouldn't, I never do this many products, um, only for like real glam evening, because it does. It, it, even though it's a lot of products, you can still achieve really beautiful looks with not as many products, but there is a purpose with layering. I'm going to take this beautiful purple shade for the lower bottom of the lashes. I can never pronounce the name, so that's why you'll never hear me say. Adding a beautiful purple colour, I think it complements my eyes and still creating that smokiness but a little bit soft. Because I was going for like a nice soft smoky, not too harsh, so no like crazy blacks or... And then I didn't want to use that dark brown underneath as well. Taking that same brush I used as a highlighter shade, I'm just dusting off any excess product. We're adding this into the last, so not right in the tear duct, but that last little quarter on the lower lash line. I guess because I was wearing a crown and being all goddessy, I just wanted a pop of golden colour in there. Because I'm adding a bright pink into the inner corner just for something different and a pop of colour. I'm actually using their lip to cheek tint in Juniper. So I will be using this on my cheeks after as well. Again, to blend the colours together. So it's a cream, creep, it's a cream lip and cheek product, but you can use it as a cream base for the eyes. So I'm taking a lip pencil brush for this because it has a nice tip on the brush. And it looks scary at the start, but don't worry. I'm going to add this into the inner tear duct. Add it really just to that inner, inner corner. I don't really drag it down. Just layering over that pink, the same champagne color we did for the brow highlight. So see, it just adds a hint of pink underneath it, a bit more pink than just the highlighter it's on its own. So I know it looked scary at the start, but I don't know, I really just loved that extra brightness of pink there. So there is one product that I use that is an MG Naturals, and this is Zayo Cosmetics. Um, I'm using their white eyeliner. Again, this is an eco-friendly product that is vegan-friendly too. And we're just going to do the white waterline just to brighten the eyes. So, you know, that's what a lot of people do black under here for creating real smoky, but I was creating a light smoky. And you'll see it just brightens it. Now just adding some bottom mascara and another layer of mascara on top. Do the top mascara as well. Layering up mascara can just help it be a bit more thicker. This is going to help carve. So we're just defining where we put the cream product, just adding another, adding another layer. Using medium sculpting powder. Adding another layer for the definition and there is a madness with, with all this Now I know I have added powder products and a lot of the rule of thumb is you do your creams first then your powder. This to me, when I want it to be its most colour, works perfect on top. Um, and so far for me personally, the product hasn't been interrupted with the powder. So not everyone would agree with what I'm doing right now, but it works for me. So 
So if you pop this product on underneath, it'll give you a light tint, but I was going for a nice full coverage pop of color and I wanted to blend the blush color with the eyes. So I thought we'd use them together. And I'm just dipping it in like this. Again, I know it looks pretty heavy. Actually, there's a bit on that one. We'll just transfer it over. Um, definitely is, again, quite heavy. But I, and again, I'm the apple, sorry, and working up with. And I am taking it up slightly here. I'm going for a flushed look. So bronzing, I actually take my powder brush because I really wanted it to be like all oh, and smoky. So I'm um, just taking up any powder. And now we're really just going over where we contoured, adding an even more extra more extra glow and I am basically going on top of this blending it all together just another step and another layer but you'll see my photo shoot photos it turned out beautiful and I hope I'm recreating it and giving it justice um, and I did go quite heavy-handed on my neck and my chest because my dress was an open dress And we're just going to go over the same points of where we used the cream highlighter. Again, adding another layer, adding another lot of definition. And again, I went quite heavy because I wanted to be a glowing goddess. And I'm taking it down and a little bit up this time. And that's kind of how I was doing with the blush as well. Taking it up. The nose and the forehead. I actually took the rest and put it on my bones here for the photo shoot as well, just to help give the chest a bit more glow. I don't do any lip liners or anything crazy with this, we just pop it on, and this is Raz. Raspberry Bliss. I actually helped create this colour, which is super exciting. There's a nice neutral range and a nice dark plum. And some reds, but I just needed my Shannon Pink. I love creating a neutral look and just having a bright pop of lipstick. This is the creative look. So I am recreating my look with my crown. I have had to change my necklace. This is my custom necklace that my son made me. So I sell the crystals and he does the wire wrapping. It's a really cute little, little business we've got going on. And he's only seven, does incredible work. I'm so proud of him. And my other son does lucky dips. Ooh. Um. So yes, I've got a different dress on because I am too cold. Even taking that my jumper off, I was like, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed and it was fun recreating my look. I'll leave photos down below of um, my actual photo shoot. Oh, it was so fun and such a beautiful hit of powerful goddessness. I don't even know the right words, but it was it made me feel like I, I felt me and I felt beautiful and I felt confident and oh, it was perfect. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.